So today I am super excited because I got my shipment from Temp2. Uh, I recently took a class uh, for airbrush makeup and doing some more advanced techniques. So that was really cool. Uh, we got to learn about doing more like brows, uh, eyeshadow, things like that. And when you take a class there, you get credit toward product. So I went home and I had a little shopping spree and it finally came. So I want to do an unboxing for you and show you everything that I got and all the goodies and fun things that I'll be able to play with. And here we go. gun. It is the Temp2 Air. Uh, it's really awesome. It's super portable. It takes little air pods. Uh, you can either have empty pods that you fill with their um, little containers such as these or it comes already filled in the pot. It's really easy to clean, um, you know, easy to kind of switch out and maneuver and travel with. So this is something that I can talk about more later, but I really have been enjoying this. I used to use a really big airbrush when doing makeup and it was a lot to travel with and you had to have a plug. This is, you know, cordless, so it's pretty awesome. So most of the makeup that I bought goes with this. Here I have a 16 ounce airbrush cleaner. And this is really nice to clean the gun, the pods, implements, anything. Uh, and it doesn't leave any kind of oily feel to it. So I needed the big one for that. Okay. And next I have the Perfect Canvas Hydrolock Airbrush Foundation Set in Fair to Light. And this is really nice because obviously you get multiple shades. Um, the Hydrolock is very hydrating. It holds a lot of moisture into the skin. So sometimes airbrush makeup can come off a little more on the matte side and be a little drying, um, which isn't the best for people who might have some fine lines and wrinkles. Um, but this formula is nice because that does not happen and it really leaves a beautiful finish and a beautiful canvas to put everything on top of. And I picked Fair to Light because number one, that would be me, so I can use it, but you can mix the foundations together and um, I do have a lot of clients that are in this range. And then I also got that same thing in the light to medium. So again, you know, with mixing, you can get such an array of colors and cover just about everybody. I have a couple other colors for darker skin uh, already, but these are probably the two packs that I would use the most. I also got the Perfect Canvas Color Correction Set. Okay, so the color correction set's awesome. It provides pretty much any correction that you might need for yourself or for a client. And, um, you know, multiple sort of pinky, salmon-y colors for covering, uh, you know, dark circles and uh, discoloration, dark spots, sun damage, pigmentation, scarring. Uh, I've also found that um, the yellow and the lavender are really good for, um, you know, covering redness. Green covers red, but it can kind of sometimes make a little bit of a sallow color or a, even a ashy. So, um, you know, again, you can sort of mix these and kind of come up with the best solution. So that's fun. And I have got an empty pot. It's always good to have extra empties 
uh, so again you don't have to constantly clean your machine and you can sort of fill up anything that you need as you go along. I only have two empties so I'm kind of building my collection but definitely need that. And I have a lot of foundations already in the pods that I've purchased when I first got my airbrush machine. This is something really cool. Um, I don't think many people use airbrush for filling in their brows, but this is one of their brow kits and it's the air, air brow set. Kind of see there. It comes with two colors and I chose again to have the loose colors versus in the pod because that way I can also use it freehand if I want to. And it comes with the this is taupe, top, however you want to say it, uh, for lighter hair and deep taupe for darker hair. Again, you can mix this. You can mix this with um, their shadows and kind of find the best shade. And what's really awesome is that it comes with all of these little stencils. This is definitely something that I'll have to play around with because I've really never used airbrush for filling in brows, but I've seen it and um, practiced a little bit and it comes out really nice and natural. So with the stencils, you know, you can kind of pick a shape and go as a guide. Um, the different ones. sort of a free hand one and you can also use this to you know use it for your lines and getting good clean lines you can use it on the eyelids for shadow you can even kind of go underneath the eye for certain like this area and if you were going to airbrush for, um, eyelashes you could do that so definitely useful and something really Cool to play around with and see, you know, how to do a couple of new things that probably a lot of uh, makeup artists aren't really doing. So a lot of makeup artists do freehand and not airbrush, but the airbrush you put this on and it stays forever. It's actually pretty hard to get off. Uh, when we were in class, my girlfriend did my brows and I had to really use makeup remover to get that off and it didn't budge. Um, more goodies. What else do I have in my little box? I got their base smooth matte and primer. Um, I just wanted to try a new primer. I thought this would be a nice try, especially for airbrush, kind of seeing how their primer goes with obviously the airbrush that they created. And oh, this is pretty. So this is Brilliant Glow. and in fair light. So you can use this as a highlighter. You could kind of give this like a nice dewy glow for the cheeks, the eyes, um, even just kind of all over. So I'm very excited for this. I have their highlighting kit as well. So it kind of looks like one of these, but it's all highlighters and in a range of colors. Um, and you can use them as blushes as well and kind of mix or eyeshadows. Everything is very multi-purpose, which I like because you don't, even though I have a ton of things now, you don't have to have that. It's just sort of, uh, you know, as a makeup artist, you like to have a lot of tools in your kit. And finally, I decided to try some of their lip colors. These are not airbrush, they're true lipstick, uh, you know, long lasting, in buffed nectar, blushed suede, and passion sorbet. So I will open these up and we can take a look at them. This is blushed nectar. Pretty neutral, pinky kind of color. Very creamy, very soft, not, does not feel dry at all. 
Um, it is a matte finish, but it's it's really moisturizing, very hydrating. Okay, and next I have blushed suede. Let's try that. I wiped off the buff nectar, but uh, it's still on there a little bit, so we'll see. This is more of just still a neutral, but a little more berry in tone. A little more pink versus the peachy color. My lips are so dry. I don't know. I've tried so many different things. So if you guys have any suggestions for dry peeling lips, I mean, I have tried scrubs. I've tried everything from Vaseline to Burt's Bees to, um, you know, the natural lip glosses and lipsticks and lip balms. And I just don't know if it's something that I might be allergic to that's causing my lips to be super dry. So that's something you guys could definitely comment and let me know if you have any faves for dry peeling lips. Uh, that's something that I find difficult wearing lipstick, especially the matte colors because my lips are always so dry. So that would be much appreciated. Okay, and finally, my passion sorbet. You can see what that's gonna look like. These are the little bottles, or, you know, the tubes. This is definitely more of a darker berry red color. Yeah, just super quite glow. So that's pretty. It's like a bright, Fun, fun for summer uh, color. And mostly I got these just for myself if I use them in my kit sometimes. Um, you know, extra bonus. So I just kind of wanted to try them out and see how they were. So we'll see how that is for all day wear. Uh, again, I like that they feel soft on the lips. They're not, they don't feel dry. I don't feel like I have to put something over it. And a lot of times a matte color will do that. So we shall see. Okay, so that was my temp to haul. Uh, I'm really excited to see how everything works and use everything and play around. Uh, and, you know, like I said, check them out. It's a great company. They're in New York City and they have great, again, airbrush makeup that is easy to use. It's what they do. Hopefully you'll see some videos and from me soon kind of using these products and I'll kind of do each product individually a review and a how-to and all of those things. Alright, so thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my channel, Sarah Bada Skin, and also follow me on Instagram. And I'll be looking out for those comments about the dry lips. Alright, thank you. <laughs>